it was a bold plan. For the first time, NASA's Operation Ice Bridge would bring its P-3 aircraft down to Antarctica, land at the sea ice runway at McMurdo Station, and use that temporary eight-foot thick sheet of ice as a base station to travel to remote areas of the continent, including some that had never before been surveyed from the air in such detail. A lot of pieces had to be put in place for this to happen. It took 18 months to plan the mission, including mapping and prioritizing each potential science flight, providing specialized training for the flight crew, and getting the P-3 ready to operate far from home and without the luxury of a dedicated hangar. It also took careful coordination with the National Science Foundation, which operates McMurdo, to ensure the mission would have adequate support on the ice and would adhere to strict Antarctic environmental and wildlife protections. After installing IceBridge's nine science instruments, the team then flew to the U.S. Antarctic Program's hub in Christchurch, New Zealand, where they were issued NSF polar gear and got safety training. After a one-day weather delay, always a possibility when traveling south, the team boarded a U.S. Air Force C-17 aircraft for their flight to Antarctica. After landing on the ice, the team then had to unload cargo, set up GPS ground stations, go through more training, scout the runway, and make sure their instruments were ready to fly. Meanwhile, the P-3 and its flight crew made their five-day journey from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia across the United States and then over the South Pacific toward McMurdo. On November 16, 2013, a clear sunny day, the NASA P-3 made its first approach to the sea ice runway and executed a beautiful landing before taxiing over to meet an excited team of researchers. 